Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you are watching Voodoo.de VR. Today I will show you the Virtual and Augmented Reality weekly news with the following topics. From Japan comes a LCD mini screen for Virtual Reality. Ubisoft's working on a AAA VR game. Somnium Space launches version 2.0. The Witcher gets a VR version. PlayStation VR gets finger tracking and HTC Vive announces a lot of new virtual reality headsets. And of course, I will show you the newest release and sales. Thank you to my sponsors, Woodgoes VR, Oppermann Events, Nursing Skills, Andy DeFelser, VR Ambassador and Alpha Blend Interactive. Let's have some fun with the weekly news and let's go. From Japan comes a LC display for virtual reality headset that is much smaller than usual. So for example in the Oculus Quest and Vive Pro we have a Samsung display with 3.5 inch OLED display and the new one from JDI, that's the company, um, it only has 2.1 inch LCD. And what can we do with this? Of course we can build smaller virtual reality headsets like the Huawei VR glass. You can see here that was announced on the CES in Vegas. Um, the problem with this of course is the um, field of view. So the things you will see in virtual reality will get smaller likely so they when <coughs> sorry when they tried it on the CES they uh, they noticed that the Huawei glasses were had a smaller field of view but of course this is very interesting for uh, business stuff when when you just want to try somebody oh look at this here uh, look at my new uh, graphic design or what and then you can put it on it's much uh, more comfortable yeah perhaps we will see smaller virtual reality headsets in the future with that now we have the confirmation Ubisoft is working on a triple A virtual reality game the question is which one <laughs> so um, they have a job here in Ubisoft Düsseldorf in Germany that's very close to my location here and um, they need a narrative designer for an unannounced triple A project virtual reality project oh my god <laughs> and when we look at the list here um, we see that they have Assassin's Creed, Splinter Cell, Far Cry, Prince of Persia, Ghost Recon, Rainbow Six, The Division and Watch Dogs. So what do you think which game is coming to virtual reality? So we know Prince of Persia has already an arcade. Perhaps they are doing a bigger game out of that. I don't know. But I don't think The Division, I don't think they will do that. It's a big multiplayer game. I'm, I don't think so. For me, I would love Far Cry in virtual reality. To be honest, Far Cry is the most my my most uh, appreciated uh, game from from Ubisoft, and um, I would appreciate it when they when they do that in virtual reality. But what do you think? What do you think? Which of these games do you think Ubisoft creates for virtual reality? Write it in the comments below. Some months ago I reported about a Somnium Space and this is going to version 2.0. This is a social VR game in which we can create characters and have even our own um, real estates and build buildings on that and create avatars and stuff. And this is what you can do uh, in a um, persistent world now with 2.0. You can build your buildings, characters and um, they even have um, full body avatars now. So look at this here, they, they look much better and um, everything is based on blockchain network. I, I will not tell you about this because I'm not uh, very uh, in this topic but uh, it's very interesting and of course I will try that for you soon. It's out already, you can download it on Steam, it's for free but if you want to, to have more stuff and your own uh, real estate you you have to pay of course but uh, it's interesting you should check it out finally the witcher gets a virtual reality mod or it, it's even created completely new I would say by Patrick Lone he's a witcher fan a big fan and he created 
the game, the first game from ground up for virtual reality in the Unreal Engine. So you have, you can see here your, your hands and you can watch around and everything is made for virtual reality. It's not finished yet. You can, for now you can explore the hallowed ground of Skermohan and um, you can download that here over the link from uh, Nexus mods. This is really awesome because The Witcher is one of the best uh, games ever and now we can experience that in virtual reality. Sony has announced a new patent for their new virtual reality controllers for the PlayStation VR 2. And they look a little bit like the Valve Index controllers, at least how you hold them. So uh, they, the controllers know when your hand is near the controllers or on the controllers and if you touch the buttons and that means we can use all our hands like with the Valve Index controllers. And as you can see here, we have also this the strap here and that means we can let it go to throw something like we can do it with the Valve Index controllers. So this is really interesting um, but the patent is a little bit late I would say. So I think, I personally think that uh, this, this year the PlayStation 5 comes out of course and not the PlayStation VR 2. It will come out 2021 or 2022 I would say. And um, yeah, we will see how that works with the tracking and stuff. We know that they will likely use inside out tracking like with the Rift S and Oculus Quest. <clears throat> I don't think they, they uh, want people to mount some stuff on the walls like with the lighthouse tracking. But we will see. I'm looking forward to the PlayStation VR 2. HTC announced a lot of new headsets this week that are all based on the Vive Cosmos. So let's check them out. The first one is the so-called Vive Cosmos Play. This is a beginner headset, I would say. Um, what's the difference to the normal Vive Cosmos? Two differences. So first one is that we don't have um, audio headset integrated. We only have an audio headphone jack so we can use our own headphones. And the second one is that we only have four instead of six cameras. So the tracking will be worse. And you know the tracking is already not good with the six cameras. Not perfect at least. And uh, we, um, there's not a release date but it will cost $500. And there I think about why on earth should I buy this when I can have the Rift S for less money and with better tracking. So only thing is perhaps the IPD slider. That, that's a good thing with the, with the Vive headset. But all the other stuff, I'm not really sure. Then we have the normal Vive Cosmos. You know that already. I made a review of that. And um, it's 700 bucks as we know. And But we can upgrade all of the headsets uh, with a faceplate that announces then the lighthouse tracking support that will cost 200 bucks and will be available in Q2 2020. And that makes the Vive Cosmos to the Vive Cosmos Elite. This is everything you get. Two, one, two very old Vive 1 controllers, two base stations here and it will cost 900 bucks and with the faceplate. So I will try it for you as soon as the faceplate is out. I already have the one controllers, the Vive Cosmos and the base stations. So I only need the faceplate to um, try the lighthouse tracking with the Vive Cosmos. But also here, I ask myself, why on earth should I buy this set when I can have a Valve Index for nearly the same price but with so much better controllers, the Index controllers with finger tracking and stuff. Why should I buy this? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I don't understand this. Um, but it, this is how we know HTC. They, they don't think about much uh, stuff. <laughs> they just release all, all the stuff and think, yeah, people may buy that. But I don't think... I would not buy that. Um, I will try it for you, of course, but if I would choose uh, a virtual reality headset, if I didn't have one, I, I would go for the Valve Index or the um, Rift S instead of the Vive Cosmos Play. But, but we will see. I will try it. The next one is the Vive Cosmos XR and this is not 
um, with an announced um, release date or price, it will come as an, a developer, developer kit in Q2. And this has a, the only change is the faceplate. It has four cameras and the two lower cameras are for XR for pass through view. And that means we can have augmented reality stuff as well. So that's very interesting. And the next one is the Vive Proton. This is only a very, very early prototype and this comes in two versions. This one here is um, with a cable. It's only a display, I would say, and you can connect it to your smartphone or PC. And this one is um, a standalone headset. We don't know anything about that release or technical specifications, nothing, only this. And it's interesting because this one here, the standalone headset looks very comfortable to be honest. And it has two cameras, so it will, I think it will have the inside out tracking. And if they are doing that good, they should support Steam VR and all that stuff like with the Oculus Quest. If it supports the Oculus Quest, the same stuff than the Oculus Quest with the link cable and stuff. And um, if it's more comfortable, if, if it has an IPD slider uh, as well, then it could be a good competitor to the Oculus Quest. But to be honest, I don't think, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. HTC didn't good, do good stuff in the last year. So uh, I'm a little, little skeptical here, but we will see. We will see guys. I will try that for you as soon as it's possible. And yeah, that was everything announced from HTC this week. So this is not a good news for people that want to buy the Valve Index. As you know, the Valve Index is sold out since weeks and uh, Valve promised that they will be in stock uh, before the release of Half-Life Alex on March 23rd. But the coronavirus is having very big influence on the production line. And that means that they, there will be some uh, Valve Indexes to buy before release of Half-Life Alex, but much lower than expected. So what does that mean? You need to be very, very fast. P what you should do is just hit F5 24 seven <laughs> and then have luck. So if you go on the page here and you can click on notify me, but as we all know, mostly the, this email that comes is very late all the time and, uh, the units will be sold out already when the email arrives. So you, you have to be lucky here. There's no other way. Just hit sometimes hit F5 and, and, and go on this page here and then check out if it's available. There's no other way. <clears throat> Very crazy, but I really hope you can get a Valve Index soon if you want one. Let's check out the releases this week. So let's start with Steam VR Buggy Bump. This is an arcade racing game where you can uh, go on this very futuristic and comic tracks. <laughs> then Space Ranger VR, you can do dog fights in space, only single player. Then Steam Liner, this is a mix of a puzzle, shooter and escape room. Then we have Gravinoid. Um, this is a physics-based puzzle game with action scenes where we have to shoot these cubes. And then Scrapper Gauntlet, this is a wave shooter where you, you can um, have heavy weapon customization. Then Sea Fishing Simulator, as the name says. <laughs> and then Mental, this is a shooter with waves and a very brutal and comic style. Then on the Oculus Quest platform, we have O-Shape. Yeah, we have to do different shapes to fit into walls, uh, holes in the walls. And this is really fun. And then Ghost Giant, one of the best adventures is finally on the Oculus Quest. And then on the Rift platform, we can finally buy Boneworks. Everybody knows that it's a physics based game. Then Gloomy Eyes, this is a, um, yeah, an, a series, a VR series. Um, you, you cannot do something, but you can experience that. And then also Scrapper Gauntlet and Hollow Remnant that was already available on the Oculus, uh, on the Steam VR platform. And this is a dark um, fighting game in dark dungeons against skeletons and demons. That's it. There was nothing new on the PlayStation VR this week. 
Okay, and a short story about my movement to the new apartment. As you perhaps know, um, I'm moving to a very close location from my studio. It's just above here. <laughs> and this is really awesome. The, the movement is nearly done. I, I would say 80%. I only wait uh, for, for my kitchen. <laughs> and um, I think I will be back 100% perhaps next week or after that. I, soon very very soon guys and then uh, it will be really awesome again thank you to my uh, new supporters ellen gert and evil n i would really appreciate if you consider to support me with only one buck per month uh, here on um, membership or patreon or twitch prime sub that would be really awesome i need that now <laughs> okay then let's go to the sales there are not many on steam house of the dying sun this is a tactical space shooter 66 percent off then visionarium a cool music driven um, game it's 30 percent off then on Oculus, Seeking Dawn, it's a cool adventure shooter, 70% off. Um, Dance Collider, a music game, 40% off. Shadow Legend, a really good RPG game, 40% off. And now PlayStation, there's a very big sale. Uh, let's go there quick. The Curious Tale of the Stolen Pets is a cool adventure, 33% off. Five Nights at Freddy's, a horror adventure, 50% off. Blood and Truth, a very cool shooter. 50% off. Intruders Hide and Seek, a stealth adventure, 60% off. Asobot Rescue Mission, a very cool jump and run, there is 55% off. Creed Rise to Glory, a boxing game, 48% off. Electronauts, a music game with beats, 61% off. Killing Floor, a zombie shooter, 50% off. Moss, a very good jump and run adventure, 40% off. This page doesn't show, it's Borderlands 2 VR, it's 50% off. Apex Construct is a cool adventure shooter, 60% off. Raw Data is a robot shooter 64 percent off super hot vr is an action game 40 percent off eagle flight you fly with an eagle through the environment and solve quests 62 percent werewolves within is a social um, adventure game in multiplayer 50 percent off and farpoint you should play that with the aim controller this is an action adventure 50% off. That was the weekly news this week. As I said, I will be back very soon. Perhaps not next week, but latest the week after that. I, I will see. I have a lot of packages uh, received here and I will unbox them and um, I will see what that is so I can review all of that stuff. So I will be back soon. Thank you for watching and see you next time in virtual reality, guys. See ya! Voodoo